What's good with the YouTube? Y'all already know Big Flacco from a convict's perspective, and I'm gonna smash, dash, and slide on through with that little bit of energy. Please hit the like, subscribe, comment, and do all those things to help support this channel, and hit that bell notification for future fire content. And as you can tell by the thumbnail and title, we're gonna talk about Alex Diaz's paperwork, scrapping. Former North Daniel Ryder, now founder of the newest of Cosa. He sent me his paperwork. And he sent me a whole bunch of stuff, right? Some videos too of him that I probably will release later on, right? But let's talk about this matter right here. A lot of you guys were questioning whether it was authentic, whether he really uh, got into with this individual, Joe Jeff, whether he really, you know, sliced him or stabbed him. And the paperwork's going to show you all that, man. There's a couple of you guys were, were questioning whether this happened or not. And I told you guys I had seen the paperwork. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be revealing this paperwork. Now, first and foremost, I have no uh, issues with anybody, with any of these individuals. I'm just a, a channel, report stuff, tries to provide as much information as factual as I can. Doesn't mean we always get it right, but I do the best that I can. And in this case, there was paperwork to support his story. So, so we're going to get to it. And just for people who know him, man, I, I have no position with any of these SMY gangs, active gangs, or anything, man. I don't, I don't harbor any um, favoritism or any dislike for anybody. I don't really support anybody, but I'm not against anybody either. What I mean by support means I'm not a part of whatever these movements are. There it is right there that you can see from the 115 battery on an inmate with a weapon, man. Now, as you can see right there, right, it talks about how... Uh, how it was a pegada, was a hit. He basically hit him with a uh, with a razor blade. It wasn't a wasn't a tremendous fucking you know uh, hit where the dude fucking almost died or anything like that, man. And it, and it doesn't take nothing against Joe Jeff or take away anything from him, man. Because you know what, anybody can get it anytime, especially when you get hit not expecting it, man. So I don't ever sit there and look at people negative because one dude got the best of the other dude or one person got hit first. I mean that's part of the game, man. I'm saying, um, but this did happen. See, a lot of times people think because someone's not active or they're a dropout or they're this and that, that they're not capable of doing these things, but quite contrary, man. There's, there's a lot of dudes that will get with it, man. They will spill blood. They have no problem, you know. Some people are looking for it. And a lot a lot of times on the SMI side, you got those that, the truth of it is, they want to prove themselves, man. You know, so at this time period, when the North Daniel Riders were trying to, you know, maintain themselves on these main lines, they were trying to, to go to any yard they could, sneak out there, and they were trying to hit targets. That was kind of like their objective. You know, he's talked about that numerous times, man. And um, for some reason, it was working on, on a lot of institutions. I mean, look at what happened with Fast Eddie. Fat, Fast Eddie hit fucking, uh, uh, not, he didn't hit him, but he had his neighbor hit fucking Lancho. You know what I'm saying? So... These, these dropouts and degenerate factions were pretty much, um, they were all these mainlines. They were GP. They weren't on the SMY yet. So a lot of them were trying to make movidas and trying to do hits and trying to do things because they were trying to establish themselves on these yards, man. Look at that right there. 360 days forfeited. A1 offense. Jefferson, okay, there, there's the last name right there in the FIFA, in the C file. And that's normal. Anytime you have any type of incident with, uh, where either there's, you know, either mutual combat or there's a victim, or you're involved in just a riot, they're going to separate you guys, man. So, this paperwork is, like I said, man, it's pretty clear. Um, so, anybody that was questioning whether this happened or not, like a few people were, um, I think this paperwork pretty much supports everything that he said. That, in fact, he did go into the cell with this individual. In fact, he did end up hitting this guy. And there was an incident. And if, if you read the paperwork, it says numerous times that Joe Jeff was trying to defend himself and trying to stop him from being attacked. So you can already tell who, there was one side that was the aggressor. And that's kind of normal. Usually, once someone makes that move with a piece, they're already on the aggressive stance. And you're going to be on the defensive stance. So there you have it, guys. You guys can go ahead and uh, peep this paperwork out. You know what I'm saying? And I have some more content coming for you guys later on, man. Well, it says informants on this. That they had informants about this, this uh, big other. Different 
that's the thing about man even on the active side you'll still see 1030s and whatnot man sometimes i think that the staff creates these sometimes you never know who you're standing next to man that said man um i'm out about three more minutes of paperwork left you guys can see it all for yourself i'm gone